When I went to my primary physician, she felt a lump and she said that I needed to see a specialist. I was a little concerned, so I immediately contacted Dr. Bimston. I had blood work done and I had an elevation in my calcium. Also, he asked me how tall I was and then they measured me and they told me that I had shrunk two inches. I had a bone density test done and also I have a history where I have had kidney stones for many, many years. Phyllis was a typical hyperparathyroidism patient who presented with high calcium levels and a history of kidney stones. 85% of patients who have hyperparathyroidism have one parathyroid gland that's the problem and if we can remove that one abnormal parathyroid gland then their parathyroid function goes back to normal. I was a little tired more so than usual. I am a runner and it, I would tire out faster. They asked me basic things. Was I on any medication, my dietaries? I had the ultrasound done in the office. So we met with Phyllis. We performed an ultrasound of her neck that showed that there was no evidence of abnormality in her thyroid gland and clearly identified the one abnormal parathyroid gland. When we're doing an ultrasound of his or her neck, they see the images that we see. Because the technology is so good now, what they see on that screen approximates normal anatomy. It's not a moonscape anymore like it was in the 90s. We, they see real anatomy and patients can learn to recognize, they can recognize thyroid nodules and parathyroids once we point them out. And that is an incredible teaching tool when you're trying to convince a person to get a surgery that they need. When they can actually see the pathology, when they see what you're talking about and they realize you're not making this up. We then sat with her and explained the rationale for performing surgery to remove this one parathyroid gland. The rationale being that it would normalize her calcium level and prevent further kidney stones. And I was concerned. I wanted to make sure that this didn't go any further. When you find something's wrong, you immediately want it taken care of, or I did. She came to the hospital on the day of surgery. We took her to the operating room. She went completely asleep. And while she was sleeping, we made a one centimeter incision in the skin lines of her neck so that it would hide um, after surgery. We removed that parathyroid gland. And while she was still sleeping, we followed her parathyroid hormone level in her blood to prove that it went from a high parathyroid hormone level to a normal parathyroid hormone level. And then we knew that she was cured. And she went home the same day. I felt wonderful. I could have gotten, I got dressed and I was ready to even work. A week later, no one could see my scarring. It really did make a big difference for me.